You guys have been asking for help on the offensive line from Ryan Pace this entire offseason, and the good news is we got somebody. The bad news, he's not that good at all. What is up, guys? I'm back with the Bears offseason news video. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Bears content, more Bears analysis, more Bears reactions, and more Bears videos all offseason long. But guys, man, I am not a fan of this move whatsoever, but... What I can say right now is that hopefully it is just a depth signing, okay? Hopefully this guy does not really start for us. Or maybe hopefully he does turn his career around because, guys, we signed Jermaine Ifedi. And if you guys said that name around Seahawks fans, they would probably cringe. They would probably cry just like we do when you, when you mention, you know, Charles Leno's name because that's how much Seahawks fans hate this guy, okay? Um, according to Seahawks fans, which I'm in touch with a lot of them, I have one of my friends from high school who's actually a pretty big Seahawks fan, and I've heard him curse out this guy a lot, okay? This guy, Jermaine Ifedi, he's a former first-round pick. He was a first-round pick um, right tackle from Texas A&M in 2016. Now, he had a fairly decent rookie year. I mean, his rookie year, he actually showed some flashes of being a decent tackle in the NFL, nothing too special, but there was some promise then. But ever since then, it's been a straight regression, okay? This guy... Although he has flashed in certain points, for the most part, you know, throughout his career with the Seahawks, he's been a really bad right tackle and a really bad um, guard, too, on occasions. I think he's played guard um, a little bit in between. Uh, for the most part, he is a right tackle, but um, for us, I guess he's going to be a guard, or le I think that's what the indications are, because we need a right guard right now, and he's going to help um, get some competition in there, but guys... Over his career, okay, the one good thing about him is that he hasn't missed many games at all. Um, he's played 60 games, so he's only missed, what, uh, four throughout his entire career. Playing 100% of the offensive snaps in 2017 and 2019, so that's really good. But the bad part, guys, is that those games that he played, he did not play that well at all, okay? He commits a lot of penalties. Seahawks fans say that he is a penalty machine. In 2019, he committed 13 penalties, tied for the fifth most in the entire NFL in his career. He has 47 penalties, 47 penalties in 60 games. That is absolutely insane. Um, he has 27 sacks allowed, 105 blown blocks. Um, last year in 2019, he allowed six sacks, which is the 17th most in the entire NFL. So guys, these stats are not great at all okay if we're trying to upgrade this offensive line this move does not make that much sense um, when you look at his past production but the one thing I can say about this guy is that since he's only 25 years old maybe a change of scenery is going to benefit him he is still so young we have to remember he was a first round pick so he did have a lot of potential in college he was a star really in college I mean the Seahawks chose him at 31 overall, so they, they really thought this guy could be a starter for, for the long term for their team. Now, obviously, that did not work out in Seattle, but with the offensive line coach that we have right now, Juan Castillo, who has had a lot of success working with offensive lines throughout his career, maybe Juan Castillo can build this guy into being a pretty solid piece on our offensive line. And guys, we have to also remember that this is only a one-year deal. It's going to be extremely cheap, so it's not like we're breaking the bank for this guy or anything. We can get rid of him easily if he doesn't work out. But, you know, would I have liked to see maybe a different move at right guard? Yeah, but again, we don't have that much cap space, so it's not like we had many options either. What this move does do is that it should force Ryan Pace to use one of those first two picks that we have in the second round. Use at least one on a right guard, okay? Unless, like, a star pass rusher falls down to you or maybe, like, a really elite like receiver or like somebody just falls down like way too much that we cannot afford to pass up on him unless that happens you know we should be spending at least one of those picks on the offensive line preferably at right guard because that is a position of need right now Alex Bars I'm saying he I mean I still think that he has a good chance at maybe winning this job because I really love what I saw out of him last year now it was really in a small sample size so maybe he's not going to win that job but I would not count out Alex Bars, but beyond Alex Bars, I really do not have any favorites for anybody else on the roster to win this job. So it's going to be a position of priority 
for Ryan Pace. Jermaine Ifedi, although he has struggled so far in his career, like I've been saying, you know, maybe we could turn him around and he's going to be a camp body, he's going to be some competition. So maybe this move does make some sense when you look at it that way. If you look at just the pure talent in the production, it doesn't make any sense at all because this guy has not produced well at all in this league, but maybe he could in the future for us. So um, overall, like I have to say that I don't like this move at all, but maybe he does prove me wrong. He's 6'5", he's 320 pounds, he has the frame to play the game. He's only 25 years old, maybe he does turn it around, but as of now, I don't think he's actually going to start for us. And if he does, I'm going to be kind of worried, okay? But that's going to wrap up my video. As always, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about this move, if you agree with it, if you disagree with it, um, what your thoughts are on this offensive line. I mean, I feel like all my comments nowadays and all my videos are like, why is Ryan Pace not doing anything about the offensive line? Well, we did do something right now, but I know a lot of you guys are not going to be happy with this. I'm telling you, wait for the draft, okay? We are going to address this position in the draft. Um, if Ryan Pace does not, okay, his job is probably going to be on the line because we're not going to have much success next year. So um, this offensive line is still concerning me, but hopefully, you know, we get it figured out by the end of this offseason. Leave your comments down below, but as always, bear down. <laughs>